What's up guys, Dr. Doll here. Welcome to another video. And I know I said I wasn't going to upload any videos until I had fully recovered. <clears throat> but I lied. I just couldn't stay away. Um, I am feeling better today, so so that's good. I, I wouldn't say that I've fully recovered yet, but um, I just wanted to share uh, what I had done with the dyed Kaya doll. So, um, and I was, I was just so excited because I kind of hit, I feel like I hit a breakthrough with dying dolls. You know, I think I've died maybe 10 dolls so far. And, um, I always run into the same problem. I always run into, you know, the dye doesn't take evenly. There's, there's splotchiness. There's, there's parts in the vinyl where it just doesn't, you know, it's, it's, a lot more common for the vinyl part to be splotchy than it is for the canvas. The canvas usually dies very evenly, but the plastic vinyl, <clears throat> it seems like I'm always dealing with imperfections in the dyeing. And I've, I've tried different ways to sort of combat it. I, I did the clear coat with the Marie Grace mold and, and that did fix it, but then you know, it causes a sheen or like a shininess on the doll that isn't super desirable. Um, and then, <coughs> sorry, I've also tried like covering it up with paint and that can sometimes just, if, if it's not done like perfectly, it can make it even more splotchy and awkward looking. But I had a breakthrough with this Kaya doll, and so I kind of just want to show you and talk through it. Okay, so here she is. Um, I named her uh, Kay. I named her Kay after my favorite character in The Circle Season 3. I just finished it, and um, Kay didn't have dreadlocks, um, but I, I don't know. I just really wanted to name a doll after her, so... Um, anyways, this is Kay, and I think she's turned out really great. I gave her these gorgeous dreads from Zazu Wigs, and she has golden ochre eyes from Dallas Dalco. I kept her makeup pretty natural. I wanted her to look youthful. I, I wanted her to look like a little girl, you know, like 10, 11, 12 years old. I didn't want her to look like an adult. Um, I gave her this super cute outfit. It's this little, like, bedazzled heart shirt with this cropped, like, um, pink shrug, little denim skirt, and then these adorable, how cute are these? These are, like, Converse high tops, but they're pink polka dot. How cute are those? I love them. So this is Kay, and, of course, she's got her little, like, butterfly clips over here, but you'll notice that her face is pretty even. Um, we had a lot of scuffs after the dyeing process, and I tried a different way of fixing it, and I'm really happy with the results. Is it perfect? No, it's not perfect, but it is so much better than the other methods I've tried. So I sort of had a breakthrough with, um, um, there were two things that happened that kind of just like gave me this idea. So first of all, my friend, um, one of my good friends who does customs, Lisey B, I'm sure I've mentioned her tons, um, she had dyed a pleasant company, Molly, and she had the same problems that I have run into where it's splotchy on the face, you know, the scratches become more apparent, it doesn't take properly. So what she did is she took the, the painting approach where she tried to match the skin tone with paint and cover up the, the blemishes with paint. Um, now, that looked okay, but it did also kind of create splotchiness in the skin. It didn't look completely even. It's very difficult to find, you know, a completely perfect match to that unique dye. So, um, she changed her mind. She left the paint on for like a couple days, changed her mind, and then wiped the paint off. And then magically, 
it's like the face was fixed. Um, there was no more unevenness. So all she did was she put paint on to cover the blemishes. And then a few days later, she wiped the paint off. And it was like, it was like the vinyl had absorbed the pigment of the paint. And it had evened out that those blemishes. So she had told me that, and that was kind of like brewing in the back of my mind. And then, like the next day, I watched this video of this guy who restored a vintage Barbie doll from like the 60s. And he was talking about how the head had been, uh, had over time like turned a greenish tint. And he was using pastels to um, sort of he was like coloring, he was like rubbing pastels on the face and then wiping it off. And he made the comment of um, how the vinyl was really porous and it would absorb um, the color. And I don't know, it was like a light bulb moment for me. I was like, it's porous. And so I tried it with Kaya and it worked and I'm so excited. So, um, because this is going to be like, this is going to make my dyed dolls look so much better. Um, I will show you exactly how I do it in a future video, but basically you try and mix paint to match the skin tone. Um, and kind of like foundation, you, you try and match the skin tone and then you, paint over the parts that are uneven and then you wait a little bit and then you wipe it off and you might have to do two or three applications but basically what happens is um, the vinyl is actually very absorbent it's very porous and it will soak in that tint that pigment and I don't know why I didn't think of this because I do the same method. I use that method for blushing. Um, and I've noticed that with the dolls that have been dyed, they're almost more porous than dolls that haven't been dyed. So it works even better. So I just, um, on Kaya here, or on Kay, I should say, Miss Kay, I just uh, mixed paint. She had like two gashes here, a gash here and a gash on her nose. I just mixed paint and got it as close to her skin tone as possible. I put it on with a brush. I counted to 10 and then I wiped it off. And I think I did maybe two or three times doing that and the vinyl just absorbed the pigment and it magically sort of just blended itself out. Um, so I'm super stoked that we, that I was able to figure out a new way to deal with that because there's nothing more frustrating than not knowing what to do. <laughs> like having this doll and you have this vision and the dye doesn't take evenly, especially when it's in on her face. It's such an obvious part. You know, it's like, how, how am I going to make this better? So anyways, that's what I did for Miss K. And in a future video, I'll show you the exact process so that if you want to replicate it at home, you can. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to show you what I had done with her. I went ahead. She's already up on my Etsy for sale and she's on Mercari. Um, if you're interested in pur purchasing her, um, I think she turned out super cute. Um, I actually like, I don't know. I'm, I'm getting, I'm definitely getting like some personality from her. Like she just has an adorable vibe about her and like a very girly adorable sort of vibe so I don't know I just I think she's super cute but anyways she's up for sale right now if you're interested I'm really happy with how she turned out so next time I die a doll I'll show you that process for sure and uh still recovering but we'll do a doll giveaway soon in celebration of our 100 subscribers whoop, whoop, whoop. and uh hopefully every day I'll just keep <coughs> <laughs> getting better so um thank you so much for watching guys we'll see you in the next video till then we will say bye bye